This is Steve Young for the Code Roundtable. And this little comment of mine may be a bit unappreciative and maybe a bit uh, dis dis uh, disparaging, but I ran across an ad for a new book in, in uh, I think, The Economist magazine. And it's an action plan for solving our climate crisis now. Now, I like action plans, and I like solving the climate crisis, and I like doing things now. But um, climate crisis is pretty big. It's been around a long time. You know, we probably have, hopefully, millennia to go, but who knows? Anyway, I then looked at what this book, the solution is, and I said, come on. Okay, electrified transportation. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Well, how are you going to do it? You're going to electrify uh, jet engines, jet airplanes, too? Okay. Number two, decarbonize the grid. I understand that. Right. If we can get rid of all that carbon out there, we're going to solve the problem. Uh, you got any ideas? Uh, oh, and number three is fix food. Well, excuse me, what, what parts of our food? And they got a picture of a cow. So are they talking about methane? So we're going to do new feed for cows to, to interfere with their digestive process so they don't ex excrete methane gases into the atmosphere. Fourth is protect nature. Okay, I'm, I'm cool with that, but you're going to protect every tree, big trees, little trees. What about oceans? What about mountains? What about natural processes and things in that? No more, uh, no more fertilizers, uh, uh, no more insecticides. Uh, uh, poor people's food price will go up. Is, okay. Number five, a good one, clean up industry. Let's have no more pollution. Number six, again, remove carbon. Number seven, win politics and policy. Not quite sure that one does and then turn movements into action. Number nine is innovate, and number 10 finally is invest. Now to me, I just find this um, kind of hard to take because all these are fine generalities, but where's the real plan? Uh, what, what, what are we actually gonna solve? Who's gonna do it? And then I saw an advertisement, also in The Economist, from Aramco. You know, the, the, once American oil company in Saudi Arabia. And, and they're talking about two inventions that, that, they've, that they've got into actual inventions. One is mobile carbon capture. So they say over a third of the carbon, di carbon dioxide released in transportation from emissions comes from road freight. So they've developed some kind of machinery for trucks, which allegedly, up to them, captures up to 40% of the CO2 from a truck's exhaust in recent lab testing, stores it safely on, on the truck to offload later, later for reuse or to store deep underground. So if you want to clean, if you want to remove carbon from the atmosphere as one, Aramco's actually doing it. Through what? Through business research invention and technological development, right? It's not a pie in the sky plan. It's actually removing real carbon. Okay, and then the other thing Aramco is doing is, how do you recycle CO2 to make stronger concrete? So there, apparently there are two parts to this they've been working on. One is the way of making concrete because the, the chemical process of heating limestone apparently releases a lot of CO2. So you still need concrete in order to make lots of buildings, particularly in poor countries for poor people, because it's a cheap material. You add a little concrete, some bricks, you get a house, right? Uh, or a schoolhouse or a small clinic or whatever you want. Uh, so can you develop a new way of making concrete which doesn't off gas too much CO2? Uh, and then secondly, apparently, you can take existing CO2 um, and you put it in the concrete. We've developed a new curing method, storing up to 200 kilograms of CO2 in every ton of cement making it as strong as regular concrete in three days instead of 28 for faster, more efficient construction. So my case, my case to you is I think being practical in terms of what business can achieve will do more for humanity than coming up with a laundry list of good ideas.